Hello everyone, this is VU3 ZTG Suraj here. Today we'll be discussing about UV9R Plus programming using Arduino. UV9R Plus is a IP57 dust and waterproof resistant radio which requires special waterproof interface cable to program the channel. Today we'll be going through programming part of this radio. I'll be using this small piece of common PCB along with few burk pins and few pair of jumper cables to make this simple interface adapter. So this is how it looks like. I'll be using Arduino Uno to interface the radio with the Raspberry Pi. Also I'll be using Chirp software for programming this particular radio. To get more idea about programming using Chirp software, you can refer my previous video on programming Befong UV5R radio. After unscrewing the screw, we can remove the waterproof covering of this particular interface. After removing the waterproof covering panel, we can see these uh, terminals here in which uh, this one is for the ground connection and this one is for the TX data and this one is for the RX data. We will be using the same screw to fix our interface adapter in particular location. The tricky part is that we need to adjust the interface adapter in such a way that the point gets contacted with our burk pins and we will be taking the output from the burk pins to the Arduino Uno. If required, make the adjustment so that the connection will be proper. I have also used pins from IC sockets so that it will give a spring like action in our interface tip. It will also protect the interface points on the radio from getting damaged by sharp burk strip tips. So I have aligned the interface adapter in such a way that the connections are fine. Now I am connecting the jumper cable so that I can connect it to my Arduino Uno. We need to connect a jumper from reset pin to ground so that any pre-running program get disabled. Also the green cable is going to ground and the red is the TX and yellow is the RX. Connecting the TX pin of the radio to TX pin of the Arduino, RX pin of the radio to RX pin of the Arduino. Now using this USB cable, we will be connecting our Arduino to Raspberry Pi. Now opening the Chirp software in Raspberry Pi. I have already given detailed uh, demonstration on how to use the Chirp software. 
For more details, please refer my previous video on programming UV fiber using Arduino. Opening the chip software. Under the radio option, I will be using download from radio option to clone my radio channel list into chirp software. Selecting the port vendor as Baphong and model as UV9R. Now you will get this error if there is a connectivity issue or the radio is powered off. I have turned on my radio now and re-attempting to clone. So now it's successfully cloning. We can see the TX and RX LEDs are blinking in Arduino. Now we can see the list of pre-programmed channels that were saved in this particular radio in the chip menu. I'll be attempting to change the power on message. So I have set it as VU3ZAG here and also I will be trying to import the frequencies from my old UV fiber that I have already saved in CSV file. Before that I will be taking the backup of current frequency list in CSV format. So I have exported the file in CSV format. Now I will import the CSV file of my old radio that is UE5R. There are four channels in there that I have selected and imported. So we can see that the four channel frequencies are updated that is 0, 1, 2 and 3 against the imported uh, CSV file. Now we need to import this into the radio. For that I will be clicking radio and upload to radio. Clicking OK. Now again we can see that uh, the TX and RX LEDs are blinking in Arduino as well as the radio is currently cloning. The cloning has completed and the radio has taken a reset. Now let's check out whether the welcome message is updated or not. As you can see the welcome message is updated. Now let's check on channels. We can see that the new channels are successfully imported in the radio. So we can assume that the interface adapter is working as expected. So that's all with this video. Thanks for watching. If you like, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notification of new videos.